If you're wondering what those numbers mean on your glasses prescription, I'm here to answer those questions for you today. First of all, OD stands for Oculus Dexter, which refers to the right eye, and OS is Oculus Sinister, which is the left eye. You're going to see a few different columns labeled sphere, cylinder, and axis, and the spherical column, if you see a minus sign within this column, that means that you have myopia or are nearsighted. They may also have numbers in the cylinder and axis column, but they may also be empty, and DS may follow the first number. And this just means that you have a spherical prescription, you don't have any astigmatism. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about astigmatism in a moment. If in that first spherical column you have a plus sign, that means you have hyperopia, which means you are farsighted. This means that you see better at far than you do at near. And sometimes hyperopia isn't diagnosed until much later in life because when we're young, our eyes are able to adjust their focus and you may actually be able to see at all distances. But the closer things get to your eyes, there's going to be more strain involved because the eye is having to work over time to focus on those near objects. That's why you're farsighted because you see a little bit better at far. Now, this can be undiagnosed for a while unless people have dilated eye exams at a relatively young age to catch this issue. And some people may go a lifetime with eye strain and not realize they have hyperopia. So that's one thing to really look out for. This, just like myopia, might have the other two numbers following it. They may have a cylinder and axis number, or they may just have DS after that spherical number, indicating that they just have hyperopia, but no astigmatism. If you see those second and third numbers filled in, you have astigmatism. The number in the cylinder column might be a minus or a plus, and that usually depends on where you got the prescription. For some reason, most optometry offices use that four-opter instrument, which has minus cylinder lenses within it, and that's how they check the prescription, and that is then how the prescription is written. However, in ophthalmology practices, they more often have four opters with plus cylinder lenses in them, and so if you got your prescription from an ophthalmology office, whether it was given by an ophthalmologist or an optometrist, it is more likely to have a positive sign for the second number. These do not refer to myopia or hyperopia. They tell the difference between part of the lens compared to the other. So in astigmatism, usually because of an irregular shape of the cornea, a different prescription is required in one direction. We call these meridians compared to the other. And basically what this prescription describes is what is the prescription needed in the lowest meridian and the highest meridian and where are they located from degrees zero to 180. So if you have a minus number in the cylinder column, the axis is going to be different than if there is a plus number in the cylinder column. The axes are going to differ by 90 degrees. Anyone's prescription can be written any of these ways. You can translate from minus sill to plus sill or vice versa, and it does not change the prescription that's given. It's just a different way of writing it based on how it was checked in the office where the prescription was written. So this prescription here is the exact same as this prescription here. It's just that this one is written with the minus cylinder format and this one is in the plus cylinder format. Astigmatism is fairly common, especially in smaller amounts. So it's pretty typical to have myopia with astigmatism or hyperopia with astigmatism. Another number you'll see on the prescription is labeled as an ad, and this is the power that's needed in the glasses to help someone to see up close. So if someone's distance vision is properly corrected for, the vision should be the same in both eyes. So the ad power needed to adjust up close is going to then be the same in both eyes. These ad powers usually range from a plus one to a plus three, and things can really vary depending on people's working distance. The closer you hold things, the higher this number is going to be, the further away, the lower. Usually ad powers are only necessary for those around age 40 and up, because that's when it starts to be noticeable that our eyes are losing the ability to focus up close. This process happens really slowly over the course of our lifetime, but it tends to really hit people around age 40 where they need a little bit of an ad to help out. Ad powers may also be in prescriptions for younger people, even children, 
if they're being used to manage a certain condition. It's not so common that you'll see prism and base filled in on a glasses prescription, and that is because this is a way that you can correct for an eye turn. If there is anything written in the prism column, there has to be something written in the base column. Prisms look like this, and even though they're usually used in much smaller amounts, I'm going to show you the larger prism just so you can see the effect a little bit better. But the job of prisms is to move an image so that the person looking through their glasses doesn't have to strain their eyes to see an image. For someone with an eye turn, the prism doesn't help to move their eye back into alignment. It actually moves where the image in the world is so that it lands on their eye in the same place that matches where it lands in the other eye so the eyes can combine those two images to see binocularly and comfortably. What a prism does is it moves the image in the direction away from the base. This is what the base is. So the prism number is going to be the amount. This one is a lot, it's a 50, and this one is a two, just to show the difference here. The, both of the bases are here at the top. And the base column is going to describe where that base is located. Is it base down? Is it base up? Is it base out or is it base in? And if I'm talking about this eye, this is gonna be base in and this is gonna be base out. I think you see what I mean here. So this just describes how this prism is going to be put into the lenses so that a person can see more comfortably. Finally, you may see a PD filled out on the prescription and that refers to the pupillary distance, the distance between the pupils. Sometimes there will be a different number listed for distance compared to near. The difference between those two numbers is often about three millimeters. And this number is really important when fitting someone for glasses because it is very important that the center of the lens being put in their frame for the glasses prescription is lined up properly with the very center of their pupil so that they can see the best. If you don't have any numbers in your prescription and it just says PL or Plano in the spherical column, this means that you don't require correction for distance. You might see this if you need glasses to see up close but not for distance and you wanna have a bifocal, it's going to need to have no prescription for distance, which is Plano. It's kind of like looking through a window. And then as you look down, that will have the near power in it. You also might see this if you don't generally need a prescription to correct your vision for visual clarity, but there's an eye turn that needs to be corrected with prism, like we were talking about the prism before. You might also see this where you have Plano in one eye and a prescription in the other. Any of these are possibilities. Let me know if you have any other questions about what a glasses prescription means. If you found this interesting or would like to learn more maybe about what a contact lens prescription means, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.